Hello and welcome to Skagit Valley College's Fall Counselor Workshop. My name is Peter Schlegel and my title is a Recruitment Specialist Workforce Education Programs. In this agenda, we will meet the recruitment team, talk about what makes Skagit Valley College unique, look at our campus return guidelines, talk about our CTC link update, go over our degrees and certificates, look at our new programs, talk about any admissions and funding updates, look at our important dates, talk about our Cardinal Career Scholars, Running Start Pirate Scholarship, CAM Grant, social media, and then how to connect with us. So let's meet the team. Our newest member is Diana Peregrina. She is bilingual and she is the Director of Outreach and Recruitment. If you need to make an appointment with her, you can always schedule using her Calendly link. Our next team member is Brittany Covert Avia. She is the Director of Dual Credit Programs. This includes Running Start, Dual Credit, and College in the High School. The next team member is myself, Peter Schlegel. I'm a Recruitment Specialist. I can be contacted by my extension, cell, email, or you could schedule an appointment with me via Calendly. I can answer any questions regarding general admissions and running start. And last is Miriam Zaragoza. She is the program coordinator for our meta department, but also assists in general registration. You can schedule an appointment with her uh, via her Calendly link. So what makes Skagit Valley College unique? Well, we have several unique programs in the area, such as our manufacturing and marine technology and fire science program. We now are offering three Bachelor of Applied Science programs. These consist of our Applied Management, Healthcare Management, and Environmental Conservation. For athletes, we have baseball, basketball, softball, golf, soccer, and volleyball. We have housing on our Mount Vernon campus at our Campus View Village. There are tons of opportunities for students to become leaders within our community by joining programs and clubs. And we also started a mariachi band that students can register for. Now let's talk about our campus safety guidelines during COVID-19. So all staff, student, and faculty must attest and be fully vaccinated by October 18th. With COVID-19, changes are happening quickly. Please check out our coronavirus information webpage for the most current updated information. Now let's talk about moving past COVID-19. Starting fall quarter, we will be offering online, hybrid, and in-person courses. In-person services are available in offices and programs that provide support services for students. This includes counseling and advising, enrollment services, financial aid, and the library, to name a few. We provide online services, whether it be advising appointments or using our UChat feature to speak to one of our student service departments. For further updates, please check out our summer slash fall. We are also providing in-person labs during fall quarter. Please check out our events webpage for those dates. CTC link is coming in October. Our live date is set for October 9th through 10th. Please expect delays as staff and students transition to this new software. So Skagit Valley College offers nine different areas of study. Whether you're looking to receive your high school diploma or GED, transfer to a university, or complete one of our professional technical programs, we have a pathway for you. Visit our area of study webpage to see a complete list of all our programs and certificates. Now let's look at the types of degrees we offer. Under our academic transfer, we offer an Associates in Arts. This is aimed for students looking to transfer to a university. Under our professional technical programs, students can receive an Associates in Applied Science degree. Some of these degrees are transferable and many of these have certificates you can earn along the way. And last is our Bachelor's of Applied Science program. We have our Environmental Conservation, Applied Management, and Healthcare Management for individuals to choose from. We have two new exciting programs. Our first one is our manufacturing program. This program engages students in first-hand experience working on a production line, test, and rolling out a product onto the market. Our next degree is our information management and data science, where it's based on data collection, transmission, and utilizing a cloud-based system. Here's an update on our admissions process. 
SVC is processing admission applications daily. Once a state app is processed, communication is sent out to them via email. We ask that all students use their personal email when applying. We are providing in-person services Monday through Wednesday from 9 to 4 p.m. with English and Spanish speaking staff available via phone, our UChat feature, email, or in person. Individuals receive personalized emails, phone calls, and texts when a student is going through our admissions process. And again, we are providing virtual information sessions, in-person admission labs, enrollment videos on how to apply in English and Spanish. Some funding updates. At SBC, we want to provide resources for you to be successful and inexpensive tuition. The Washington College Grant is fully funded, which means any student that meets the income guidelines will receive regardless of when their application was received. We also provide HERF's funding for fall quarter. Uh, check out our financial aid webpage for updates moving forward. Moving forward, here are some important dates. Fall quarter starts September 21st. The 2022-2023 financial aid application opens up October 1st. Winter quarter starts January 4th. Registration dates haven't been determined. For those interested in attending Skagit in the fall or you are a returning student, please be on the lookout for our SBC Foundation Scholarship application that will be available mid-December. We have a new program we'd like to introduce you to. It's called our Cardinal Career Scholars. This is a federal non-residential program for those that are 16 to 24. This allows an individual to complete any prerequisites and technical certificate training, as well as receive 12 months of employment coaching after completion of the certificate provided by WorkSource. In addition, this scholar helps fund tuition, books, transportation, and more. Here is a list of what certificates our Cardinal Career Scholar programs includes. There are some eligibility requirements. Again, you must be the age of 16 to 24. Show you are eligible to work in the U.S., reside in one of our local counties, and meet an income requirement. If you have questions, please contact one of our Cardinal Career Scholars Navigator. These navigators will help students complete their admissions process. Next is our camp grant. We will be building a cohort of 30 students this year and then 35 students in each subsequent cohort. This camp grant will allow individuals to develop an education plan, financial plan, and career goals. These students will have wraparound student support services and mentoring and tutoring, including growth mindset, study skills, and cultural slash educational activities. To be eligible for this program, you need to qualify for financial aid. Next is our Running Start Pilot Scholarship. We have been awarded to extend our Running Start Pilot Scholarship for the duration of the 2021-2022 academic year. This scholarship is aimed at low-income Running Start students who receive free or reduced lunch, and those that have a 2.0 or higher GPA are eligible for this scholarship. If you have questions, please email dualcredit at skagit.edu regarding the scholarship. If you have questions about our Running Start program, please contact outreach at skagit.edu. We can be found on multiple social media websites. You can check out our Facebook, YouTube, or Instagram for current updates. Here's our enrollment contact information. Thank you for listening to today's Fall Counselor Workshop, Go Cardinals!